Hey guys, Animated Recapped here. Today we will be going through the events of a 2019 English language Spanish animated Christmas film, Klaus, written and directed by Sergio Pablos. The movie begins with Jesper telling how the tradition of writing a letter to Santa, who then would deliver a toy based on the letter, started. Jesper is called to his father, the Royal Postmaster General's office, who has been trying to get Jesper admitted to the Royal Postal Academy for the past nine months. Jesper has been deliberately underperforming because he didn't want to go to this academy. He fakes being sad and says that he should go back home, think about his priorities, and grow up. Though his father denies and says he's not going to let Jesper go back and live a privileged life instead, he has to go and establish a working postal office in the distant town of Smirinsburg. He gives Jesper a year and says 6,000 letters stamped by his own hand will suffice and warns him that he'll be cut off from the family's fortune if he fails. Jesper is given a shabby cart which he has to ride by himself and soon he meets a sarcastic ferryman named Mogens. He takes Jesper to Smirinsburg, which is all gray and covered in a thick layer of snow. Jesper asks Mogens about the reception and Mogens points to a bell and asks him to ring it. Upon ringing the bell, the Smirinsburg people come out with weapons and start fighting each other with Jesper in the middle of all the ruckus. Jesper rings the bell again and all of them stop fighting instantly. They see Jesper and start laughing at the sight of a new postman. Somebody then rings the bell again and the fight continues. Jesper escapes and reaches a school where he meets Alva. Alva tells Jesper that she was a teacher, but took up a job where people don't send their children to school, so now she had to sell fish to earn some money. She also tells Jesper that the bell he rang was the battle that caused the Crumbs and the Ellingbos, the two rival groups that live there, to start fighting. Mogens then takes Jesper to a broken down post office filled with hens. Jesper struggles in the cold and between the mean and violent people and wants to go home, but convinces himself to stop being weak and stay or else he'll get cut off. He then searches for letters but doesn't find a single one. He meets Mogens who tells him that people there don't write letters. Days go on, but Jesper isn't able to get a single letter. Jesper finds an isolated house on the map outside town and decides to visit the place. He goes into a home filled with handmade toys and gets locked inside. He meets Klaus and is terrified of his appearance and runs away in haste, leaving his bag there. He heads back and decides he is going to leave Smirinsburg. The bag contained a letter that had a sad drawing from one of the Crumb children, which Klaus finds. On his way out of Smirinsburg, he's stopped by Klaus, who forces Jesper to take him to the child's house. He tells Jesper to deliver a package to the child inside the house. Jesper's afraid to go, hence is thrown by Klaus and lands directly inside the house through the chimney. He leaves the package and is chased by the house owner with a gun. Jesper desperately tries to escape and is saved by Klaus. While leaving, Klaus sees the little boy get the package, open it, and love the toy inside. He's pleased with seeing the little boy and goes away. The child later finds the drawing that he lost. The next day, Jesper finds three little girls who had been told by their cousin to write a letter to Mr. Klaus for a new toy. Jesper sees his benefit and convinces many other children to write letters to Klaus. After collecting many letters, he goes to meet Klaus and convinces him to donate his toys to the children of Smirinsburg. Klaus tells him that they should meet in the dead of night and that he's going to come with. Later that night, Klaus and Jesper go to deliver the toys secretly. Meanwhile, the crumb boy who got the first toy starts playing with an Ellingbow girl, causing their clans to outrage. The family elders tell the children the story of the war between the crumbs and the Ellingbows that has been going on since prehistoric times and then figure out that it was Jesper and Klaus who gave the boy the toy. The next day, Jesper gets more letters and a few children who tell him that they don't know how to write, so he sends them to Alva. Jesper hears the children talk about how amazing Klaus is, and he loves cookies and can squeeze through chimneys and leave gifts in the night, which makes him a little annoyed. Later, all the toys on Jesper's cart made it so heavy the horse couldn't pull it, so they decided to use reindeers. The next day, he tells a mischievous boy whom he had just given a piece of coal that Klaus can see everything a child does, keeps a naughty list, and only gives toys to children who behave well. Hearing this, the children started doing good deeds and stopped differentiating between the crumbs and Ellingbows and started helping everyone. Soon, the adults started being friendly too and ended their ancient dispute. Jesper tells all this to Klaus, to which he says, A true act of goodwill always sparks another. The family elders disapprove of this piece and do a temporary truce to stop Klaus and Jesper. Soon, Klaus and Jesper start running out of toys. 
Jesper gets worried that he won't be able to fulfill his target and tries to convince Klaus to build more toys for Christmas. While suggesting the idea, he unravels a statue of Klaus and his wife, upsetting him. Jesper gets back to the post office where he sees a Sammy girl waiting for him. He takes the girl to Alva and they discover that her name is Margu. Later, Klaus visits Jesper where they together make a sledge for Margu. Later, Klaus tells Jesper about his wife Lydia and explains that he made those toys for the future children that the couple hoped to have, but she couldn't get pregnant and soon died of an illness. He then thanks Jesper for re-sparking his joy by making him give those toys to the children. He then agrees to make more toys for Christmas. Jesper later visits Alva, who tells him that she spent all of her savings to upgrade the school and give the children a proper learning environment. She then shows him how the people have started living in peace and says that someone would be a fool to leave Smirensburg now. Later, while building the toys, Margu gets her people to help Jesper and Klaus and Jesper and Alva's relationship flourishes. On the other hand, the family elders had started writing fake letters. They wrote 14,000 letters, posted them, and informed Jesper's father. He came to Smirensburg to take his son back on hearing this news. Klaus, Alva, and the other people heard Jesper and his father's conversation and were very upset and betrayed. Jesper was disheartened, but he decided to stay back after talking to his father. The family elders then go to destroy the toys that Klaus had made. Klaus agrees that he'll let them destroy the toys, but nobody should get hurt. As soon as the children of the family elders were about to smash the toys, Jesper took the toys, put them in his sleigh, and took off. The clan started chasing them. While the chase was commencing, the family elder's children fell in love as the crumb boy saved the Ellingbow girl from falling off a cliff. Jesper risks his life in trying to save the toys and even protects them from falling off another cliff, but the crumb leader is successful in throwing the toys. The leaders then see their children in love and go to separate them. Meanwhile, Alva arrives, and she and Klaus tell Jesper that the toys he was trying to save were the decoys, and the real toys were safe. Jesper had redeemed himself in their eyes by risking his life for the toys, and they all forgave him, and he and Klaus go back to distributing the saved real toys. All the children wake up and find beautiful gifts waiting for them on Christmas morning. The family elders' children got married, thus forcing them to live peaceably. Jesper and Klaus continue receiving letters and delivering presents to more and more children far away from the towns for 12 years. In the 12th year, Klaus follows a wisp of air up a sunny hill and fades away, probably joining his deceased wife. Alva and Jesper get married and have two kids of their own, and every Christmas Eve, Jesper would sit beside the fireplace and wait to see his friend Klaus as his spirit continued distributing gifts to the children around the world as Santa Claus. That was my recap of the movie. Hope you enjoyed it. Now comment on what your favorite part was and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, this has been Animated Recapped.